Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Chee Bears Off Grid Ways, a homestead in the desert. And yeah, we're having a wind event again today. Sustained around 35 miles an hour, but the gusts have been getting up by 40. And uh, definitely had some gusts higher than that because uh, it took one of my 55 gallon barrels with water in it, not full, but had water in it, um, right off of a pedestal on the corner of my cabin and threw it out into the driveway. So we've been having some nasty winds this year. I just don't understand it. What's going on? It's the strangest thing. Really strange thing. But yeah, sustained around 35 miles per hour and stronger at times. So I've got my wind resistant mic on. And uh, by the way, that uh, white car that was abandoned over there disappeared last night after some really bright lights right behind it over there um, showed up and I mean they were so bright it was like staring into the sun and there was two of them two big gigantic bright lights so I couldn't tell what was going on over there but I wasn't about to go out there in the dark by myself and uh, run into some idiot with a gun who decided they wanted to have some fun uh, killing local people in the desert or something. Wasn't my idea of a good idea, so I moved on. Anyway, I got my neighbor's uh, water filter uh, system pulled apart, all cleaned up and uh, ready to go. And uh, he's gonna pick that up tomorrow morning. Oh, look at this, my cover for my tote koozie is trying to get away and my welcome mat is trying to get away oh my gosh it's nasty out here so I want to get out and show you the uh, what the turbine did but uh, I forgot to show you the other day when I was out by Fort Irwin this this nail square nail was one of the items I found at a 50 caliber uh, so, those are some of the things. I still haven't crushed those rocks because of this weather. It's ridiculous. So I'm going to have to anchor this thing down in a minute. I think I'll put a few of those tanks on it. That should hold it. But well, let's get over here. Oh, yeah. Lock the wind. Oh, my gosh. I hope my hands are... Yeah, they're clean enough. I, uh... I had to wash them. They were really dirty from working on that filter system. All right, so what happened here? It happened again. Look at this. 0, 0.0 watts. Why? Well, it threw the breaker. So why did it throw the breaker? Now I just turned it back on. Well, watch right here. 84 amps peak when you see the AP right there 84.4 this is an 80 amp breaker so 84 amps a couple of times has come in off of my wind turbine and it was over amping oh it just did it again Here we go. Look at the power coming in on this. Look at the watts here. That's what's going on out there. I'm bringing in 25 amps right now, which I really don't need. But I don't want that thing freewheeling up there. So I got to keep it. Uh, locked in. I'll have to come out and check it a couple of times because these high gusts of winds are uh, let's see what the watts peak were. 1269 1270 watts peak. Look at that. It just jumped it jumped right up to 34, 35 amps and uh, 8 to 900 watts coming in. There it goes. 
Those are the wind gusts we're getting out there. 40 amps of, of power coming in off my turbine. I don't need it. Somebody turn off the wind machine. I don't need it. I better turn this on. Oops. What's going on here? I think my fan burnt out. Oh, I'm going to have to get a... That's probably what's happening. Is my rectifier is getting too hot. Because my fan's not working. So, I've got a couple of spares in the... Uh, in the shop, maybe I'll go in there and get me a. Let me make sure it's not the switch. Nope, not switch. I'm gonna go into the shop as soon as I close this video off and get me a, a replacement fan. Come out here and replace this because I gotta keep that rectifier cool. Yeah, it is pretty warm. That's what's going on. All right. Situation solved or discovered. We know what it is. Now I got to go solve it. All right, everybody. So that's what's been going on here. You saw my uh, water truck this morning in this earlier video. Look at the dust cloud out here from these winds this whole place is under a gigantic dust storm i mean it's just nasty visibility is less than a mile <laughs> nasty and i was gonna barbecue tonight too i guess i can't do that i got some marinated uh, chicken leg meat inside boneless and uh I guess I'll just have to uh, pan sear it inside instead of barbecuing outside. But it's so good on the barbecue. You know, when you get that little black charring on the sides. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to have it with corn on the cob and some steamed carrots. All right. Let's call it a day and head inside. Thanks for joining me, everybody. G-Bear reminding you, don't forget those thumbs up down there, and don't forget to subscribe and share. G-Bear signing off.